kill. Why not send? Thank you. The secret nerd base is go, 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 go. Secret nerd base live. You need to press it again, so. We are inside the secret nerd base right here. Inside the secret nerd base. Here we and, are. Yes, as with me are, is always is Zulu Reeves. Well, good evening, and I'm glad you're not in East Timor tonight where the alligator attacks are on the rise. Jules Geiger. Jules Geiger is here, and uh, we're doing a show. Hey, Racer X. Welcome back, my friend, to the show that never ends. And Optimus Solo. Optimus Solo is online. So, uh, where do we want to begin tonight? There is so much big news out there. Let's just get it out of the way because I don't often come up with good stuff, but... Banana Splits, the movie. Banana Splits, the movie. Now, we, we've heard about Banana Splits, the TV show, 1968 to 1970. Hanna-Barbera. Tra-la-la. La-la-la. Tra-la-la. Two bananas. Two bananas. Three bananas. Four. Yeah. Four bananas make a bunch, and so do many more. Which equal murder. Murder. <laughs> and mayhem. So we've got, a, we've got a Banana Splits movie, which is really and funny because it's not funny. Yes. And they're, they're animatronic robots. Animatronic yes. robots. Now, according to the trailer, I've seen them. Nothing I've seen them driving their little cars around <laughs> late at night and giggling. <laughs> now, here's why it's a horror movie. It's Banana Splits. And, and here's why it's scary. The show has been canceled. So they kidnap the audience so the show can go on forever. forever. And right after that, it becomes like Saw. Yes. So we've got the little cars... We've got these little guys, and they don't look happy this time. Yeah. And it's, it's put out by Sci-Fi. Sci-Fi Sci Channel. Channel yep, actually. And it's going straight to Blu-ray. So you know, so you, you know, know right that your brand is dead if you have to resurrect it by turning a beloved TV show into a murder-filled mayhem fest. But what else would be funnier? I mean, if you just I tried to bring them back and, and have them do it all again, yeah, it, it just would just be, It would be stale. Yeah. So now you've got it, and you've got. Mayhem. Scooby Doo, listen up. Oh. Wow, that'd be interesting. Now, the Sci Fi Channel bought a bulk of the Hanna Barbera material. Am I correct? Yes. And did they get Scooby Doo in that buy? I don't know, but if they did, I, I definitely would love to see a horror version of Scooby Doo. A Scooby Doo that was actually scary? Yeah. I don't know if I'd like that. Did like, they really die? You know, I think I would like to see like a David Lynch version of Scooby Doo. Oh my gosh, Ooh. that would be brilliant. Uh, what, what about a, a Tim Burton doobie doo? Yeah, or would we rather have would we, would we rather have David Lynch? Or I want Burton David Lynch. Lynch. I think David Lynch. It's really strange with that. Yeah. And you finally pull the face off. And it's Laura Palmer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, would you pull the face off the dog? Probably. Yeah. There well, you go. Well, the, start, the starting scene is the van down by the river. Yeah. Down by the river. <laughs> In a van down by the river. So, okay, we got the banana Fred's out of work. But that's not the only horror flick we got coming up. We got November 8th. We're going back to the Overlook. Have we seen this? Have no. we seen Obi-Wan Kenobi and what he's been up to lately without his beard? No. I don't know what his beard's been doing. No idea. But he, absent his beard, is appearing in the movie Doctor Sleep based on the Stephen King book that I didn't read called Doctor Sleep. Now, this is a sequel to The Shining. This is the kid from the, uh, uh, what was that? The big wheel. He had a big wheel running up and Danny down the carpet. Danny, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, Danny grew up. Danny talks to his Danny finger. Grew. Danny's not here. So is he Danny, Danny is here. He is here. He's, he's Danny. Danny. He is Danny. He is Danny. And according to the trailer, uh, he's, he's going to meet up with some other people uh, that have the shiny. I guess we're going to have Things are going to get really dark from there. Okay, I hope that someone takes an edit of that Winnie the Pooh movie and edits Winnie the Pooh into this movie because he's also a grown-up Christopher Robin. So you can be grown-up Danny talking to Pooh, and Pooh could be telling the murder people. <laughs> you know, oh, yes. I forgot. He is grown-up Christopher Robin. Yeah. Yes. So someone oh. needs to make this edit. Obi-Wan, really? Yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty crazy stuff. So we've got Obi-Wan, and... Now he's Danny. He's doing Doctor Sleep. And here's why this is working out. Now, the script was presented to both Stephen King, who hated the movie The Shining, and the Kubrick estate, which loved the movie The Shining. And how were they able to incorporate both 
of the, the movie that Stephen King didn't like and the book that he did and get it all together with the Doctor Sleep. I, 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 I don't know. I, I'd like to see how this all is together. a shitload of money. Oh, yeah, money. That's money, probably, money might be the way to do it. Money. That's probably what happens. Yeah! I'm Captain Yodi, and today we're going to be reviewing some video games for the Secret Nerd Base. Because they's all too busy, and I'm a cat, and I have time to do those things. Rise from your grave. Meow! So what we really need to talk about What is, is it? We've crossed the finish line of reaching the half million mark of people around the globe. This is this is We now have a force of operatives, half a million strong. Yes. How many how many um is in the, the, the Chinese army? Are we bigger than Zero. that? One oh, no, point one point two million. One point two million. million. I don't know. There's mm -hmm. two million. They have two million. There's two million. No, they have one point two active. They have two million reserves. Four well, there. which don't even have guns. They have wooden sticks that they practice with. Hey, you're right. We're gonna beat with wooden hey, you know what we're gonna do? <laughs> that was the problem with the wooden make, stick incident earlier this week. It's we're gonna like, make a cannon, a, a rapid fire cannon that fires free invisible nothing out to everybody. We're gonna deliver that to you right now. It's a limited edition, free invisible nothing. We deliver to your immediate area, and this will be sent to you in celebration of us crossing the half million mark on uh, Facebook. So uh, collect those free invisible nothings while you can. They're immediately around you at the moment. Welcome to your doom. Exactly. Yes. And, and NASA has a plan to mine asteroids and get people back to the moon by 2024 for a, for a way station base on the way to Mars. Uh, wow, they are gunning for Mars, aren't they? Yes, Mars they is. Well, I mean, aren't we supposed to get hit with an asteroid later this year? It said that like, that's going to happen. <laughs> well, I'm always waiting. And and I feel a, I feel a large seismic event of some nature is, is quite overdue. Is not anybody else exactly. felt that tension? The, 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 I, I, earth is, the earth is ready to do something of that nature. Probably. What the hell was that? I don't know. That was, uh, that that was, was the, the size of the That was the size of the That was, that was, like, yes, that that was, was a warning all of a sudden. Pinged on the radar. Yeah, you know, there you know, go. Was pinged on the radar? What's that? Yeah. Brett. 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 Brett is back, and Brett is back in Archer 1999. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, you know, before you go into that, I oh. just got to say that uh, Archer on Danger Island was freaking great. I watched it, I gave it Jules Geiger. I took a day for a Jules Geiger day. It's International Jules Geiger Day that was celebrated around the world. Oh, right, right. yeah, Jules Geiger and, Day. And, and uh, during, I took uh, full uh, advantage of that time to watch uh, Danger Island, and it was it was awesome. 
Which everything I expected would be is freaking great. I like Cyril's character now. Yeah, uh, you mean the, uh, was he the Nazi? Yeah, he was He was the bad guy. I liked uh, Krieger's... Krieger's parrot. Krieger's parrot was just incredible. It was, a, it was one of the best all the of things for them to do. It was great. Uh, he was a talking parrot who just talked normally, and then people would be like, why is that parrot talking? And, and it was like, never explained. You're just like, he's a parrot. He talks, you know, but he was like talking like, like you're talking. Oh, okay. So yeah, complete sentence, total yeah. dialogue. I'm gonna have to sit down and just binge Archer because I've never watched an episode. Uh, Archer, because we had this you, discussion. Now, you've never watched an episode. Why for the did exact I, same reason, reason I've never seen Bob's Burger? Exactly. Okay. And why is that? Because you don't want to ruin it? No, no, because Bob is Archer and Archer is Bob, and right. I can only see Bob's voice as Bob yeah. and not as Archer. I've done both. And Arby's has now come out and ruined everything. By showing Bob's face. Yes. And Archer's oh, face. Yes. While he's got the meats. What's, oh. what's really funny is to see uh, the cast of Bob's Burger. Yeah. Because there's only one female in it, and she plays Louise, the young daughter. Uh, all the female characters are all played by guys, which is hilarious. I was not aware of that because yeah. I've never watched Bob's Burgers. Well, because there Bob you go. has to take crap from people. Yeah. Where Archer would never do that. And, and that's why I can't watch Bob's Burgers. Although. The Archer Bob's Burgers crossover episode was amazing. Wow, I, great. See, that I didn't was even see that. was amazing. I did not see now, it. Now, here we are in 1999. Archer's in space. They're salvagers. They've got a civilian ship loaded with weapons. It's it's everything you wanted to see Archer do in space. Um, Pam is a rock monster this time who has uh, interesting um, erogenous issue. <laughs> Cheryl Carroll is is splendid in this cast. She is the world's greatest fighter pilot, but she hates her job. So she's just being miserable, and then she'll get out there in the in her, in her spaceship and just blow everything to pieces. She makes Luke Skywalker look like a rookie, which technically he was. He was, yeah, yeah, yeah he was rookie of the year. We've yeah. got uh, we've got Lana and Archer as co captains of the ship, the SS Seamus. And we have Krieger, being Krieger. We have Mallory as a sentient orb that turns into Mallory and goes back and forth. Um, and then we have uh, what was that? What was the bird's name? Funbot. I can't remember what his name was. Mm. There's there's a there's a, a bird made out of made out of knives. Okay. Um, Barry is back, but now he's a robot. Barry six, and we meet a new character named Bort. Bort. So I'll leave you Bort, there. Bort, Episode Bort. three is my so favorite so far. Is Mother, uh, is she the ship now? Is that... No, she is a sentient orb that okay. can turn back and forth from Mallory into the sentient orb gotcha. and is able to drink liquor. Perfect. So, there you go. what she really is, I don't know, but she's able to drink still. There you go. Good for her. Yeah. Remember the, the assault reptiles in Florida? Yes. 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 Well, we've got three assault reptiles in Pittsburgh in three weeks. Now, oh. Pittsburgh is not only known for their gator population. Had some pretty warm winters though. The winters haven't been that bad. The winters haven't been that bad, and the gators are taking advantage. Wow. There was one found in a river. Well, it is in the south side of Pittsburgh. Rivers, you know? Three rivers. Yeah. There, there's there. There could be all kinds of croc well, attacks. Three here. rivers and. Yeah. Three rivers. Wow. Three crocodiles. It's yes. the quickening for alligators. <laughs> well, one was found in a neighborhood called. There Eric. can be one only one. In a They'll be Beach meeting at high And one was found in 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 the south side, uh, in in the river. Carrick, so, Beachview, and Southside. Yes, Carrick, Beachview, and Southside have been visited Carrick's by gators. on top of the building. Right. So they, they can use stairs. Yeah. Yeah. So they actually... They're, they're, they're There's they're crocodiles in the stairs! <laughs> yeah. The people under the stairs are crocodiles. But there's also been an official Pennsylvania Game Commission warden report and advisory. About the bear? About the bear. Uh, about, about the bear. bear. Yes. The bear. Yes, Pittsburgh has a gator problem, but now also has a bear problem. Two neighborhoods in Pittsburgh have been visited by a, a medium uh, one-and-a-half-year-old, probably, uh, a black bear. Right. And the Pennsylvania Game Commission has advised, give the bear its space, and, importantly here, not take selfies with it. Do so not take selfies not, with the bear. Don't feed it. Don't take selfies. Don't, don't, don't take selfies with it. It's a baby bear? So uh, what I'm wondering here is is how we are involved in in, in, in stopping natural selection from taking its course by stopping selfies with bears. Yes, 
I say more selfies with this bears. Is more selfies with bears. Yes. So Belfies. you say it's a year and a half. Is that still a baby? No, no, that's, no, that's a, a juvenile. Is, okay. Yeah, this is a juvenile bear that is, is exploring teenage and going to teenage, find its home. Yeah, it's a teenage bear. He's very he's angsty. Ninja. Very yeah, angsty. Very angsty. Black looking bear. for turtles. Yes. He's like, look, yeah, gators. He, maybe him and the crocodiles have a band. They're like, the you know, that's the lead singer. Bear and the gator. Bear, bear and, and gators. gators. Yep. New Pittsburgh band. There, there you go. go. So bear that that's gators. that's that's bear what happens when you spin the globe and land on Pittsburgh. You get gators and bears. So uh, maybe it has something to do with the uh, the, the the tornado creation. Maybe that oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we forgot about that guy from Pennsylvania. While we're in Pennsylvania, he he knows why the tornadoes are happening. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and the reason is all the new traffic circles. The roundabouts. Traffic circles. Traffic coming circles. up in Pennsylvania apparently are causing vortexes. It makes sense. It makes sense. What happens so, when you run around in circles? You create wind currents. What Butter, are those called? Those the are butterfly effect. The roundabouts. 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 Where we call them circles in yeah. New Jersey. Okay. So the roundabouts and then traffic circles, they, this is causing tornadoes. Causing okay. tornadoes. And summoning the crocodiles and, and the making bears. the bears become angsty and, and uh, wander in the city. Yes. 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 So traffic circles are causing tornadoes in Pennsylvania. You've got bears that and you've got sense. gators. Crocodiles. Well, I saw that counterclockwise motion. Oh it's summoning Crocodiles. the fourth gate of hell. So, <laughs> yeah. so we've got all that. Listen, crocodiles, yinzers, and bears. Oh my! <laughs> there, there, there are yinzers in that. There are plenty. There are yinzers in them there hills. Wow. In 1994, right? We had uh, invented um, a magnet. We were 20 years old, and and this magnet um, it brought the curious to us. Yes, yeah. all the time. Uh, and, all yeah. the time. So the the whatever weirdness was happening, it would Down. happen closer to us, and, and and we were just drawing all this. It was it was one of our early energy experiments. Yeah, so yeah, we west. were we were by this energy vortex, okay. um, at where point. at the point, and the point is where um, the Monongahela yeah. and the Allegheny Rivers form the Ohio River. The so there's a large large energy vortex there. Yeah. There's one other. And we we're 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 there's performing experiments there um, with with the frequencies. You don't so know what happened. happened. No, we left that wasn't. It was for us to coordinate, not for us to investigate. No. I see. So yeah, we were the conduits of that. We were, we were performing the energy experiments. That, that is a true story from the history of Zulu and Optimus. Where? <laughs> <laughs>